What's up guys, welcome to your 196th Android tutorial for the new Boston. I believe it's 196. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, basically the reference to the jar we just added. Because again, we did add a jar to our project, but we still need to make that reference uh, within the manifest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go within our application bracket uh, of the manifest, and we need to make that reference again to the jar that we added. So how we do that is just pretty simple. We're going to create an activity, so nothing new there. Give us some space to work with. And we need to refer it for the activity name to be basically an add activity. So we're going to say Android, Android name equals... And then this has to be verbatim. This has to be the exact same. So we're going to say com.google.ads.addActivity. So make sure uh, your spelling is correct and all that good stuff. Otherwise, nothing's going to, uh, you know, our ads aren't going to be uh, working. So we need to have this as a reference name or Android name. You also want to set up the Android config um, to be Android config changes. And we're just going to set this equal to be keyboard. And then we need to put one of those uh, straight, oops, spelled keyboard wrong. Could be bad. Um, and we want to put one of those straight lines. I'm not exactly sure what this, you know, this thing's called. It's not an L, but it's like, you know, shift and then the button right above your return or enter key. Uh, just one of those straight up and down lines. And uh, then we're just going to say keyboard hidden and again we're gonna put one of those straight lines and we're just gonna say orientation and now we have basically the reference set up to our jar that we just added so I'm just gonna say control save uh, make sure I don't get any errors again just for our Android name we need to have it com.google.ads.addActivity and uh, for config changes um, again keyboard keyboard hidden and orientation so there we go we basically just set up the reference uh, within our manifest and now let's actually get into setting up an ad within XML so we're just going to go into our layouts here and pick one of our layouts let's go with uh, let's go with our main XML this is our first little activity that we created and we're just going to add an ad within this linear layout so to do that, uh, what we need to do is again reference, uh, make a reference or a connection within our first uh, bracket. So, like if you guys have a linear layout or a relative layout, we basically need to make a connection so we can use some methods. Uh, that's all this is doing. Um, I think I might have explained that, but that's just allowing us to use some of these Android, you know, colon layout or orientation and all that good stuff. So that's why we need to have a reference like this but we're also going to have another reference for our ad so what we're going to do is we're going to say xml ns ads equals and then we have to put in http colon forward slash forward slash s c h e m a s dot android dot com uh, forward slash apk forward slash lib forward slash com dot google dot uh, ads so I know it's kinda long um, but you guys wanna make sure again your spellings correct on this everything's good uh, and again this will just allow us to add like ads within XML and all that good stuff so again HTTP uh, forward slash forward slash or just pause the video and make sure uh, you know you guys have this verbatim and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add an ad below our second button again this is our layout here we're just gonna put an ad like somewhere here so let's go down into our code go below our second button and we're just gonna add an ad just like we add everything else uh, just a greater than sign and then we're just gonna say we're gonna say com dot google dot ads dot add view like that and we can set up an an ID, so we're just gonna say Android ID equals at plus ID forward slash uh, add. You know, if you guys want to set up an ID, pretty much the same way as as you guys are familiar with. We're also gonna set up a layout width and layout height, so you can just set that equal to be wrap content and maybe Android height. 
layout height to be wrap content as well. Get nothing new. Pretty pretty easy, huh? And uh, what's really important is the add references because again, this is coming from that first reference or that first uh, XMLNS um, that we've already had, so we can use these Android references. But now we're going to use the add references. So we're going to say adds and then add unit ID. Um, so make sure that's spelled correctly. And we're going to get to this in the next tutorial. So I'm just going to say uh, next tutorial. So we're going to have to change that uh, to make the connection, you know, with our specific ID, so we can, you know, uh, so we can get paid and they can keep track of the user, all that good stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this is this ad is going to load when the on create method gets called of this activity. Uh, whichever activity has this layout so we're gonna say load add on uh, create we're gonna set this equal to be true and uh, we just close off our statement with forward slash a lesson sign so that's how we kinda add an add within our um, application and you can kinda see the layout here of what it looks like and uh, Oh yeah, we forgot the ad size, but we'll probably get into that in the next tutorial. So make sure you watch the next tutorial because it's going to be pretty important um, because obviously we're missing something already. But I'll catch you guys then and hope you have a good one.